What's up ladies and gents? So I'd like to make a video answering someone's question because I feels like ages since I did that. So this question comes from someone who I can't remember the name because it was a comment and I, I like wrote a note. So I'm really sorry about that if you're hearing this and this is your question. I apologise. Uh, maybe leave your name in the comments. So the question goes like this. Do I need or should I look back at my dream journal and read past dreams, even dreams from like weeks ago, right? So this guy is asking, uh, you know, what? why do I need to write dreams down uh, if I'm not going to look at them again? I think that was the gist of the question. So my answer to this is, you should always look back at your past dreams. Uh, no matter how long ago you wrote them, they'll always be relevant. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to sort of um, look for things like dream signs, things that happen in several dreams, like that reoccur. Um, and what you'll find that when you start doing that, um, you'll be able to identify things um, that mean something to you. It's a very personal thing, but when you look back at several dreams you've had, uh, and you can go back, you know, months or even years, I sometimes look at my dream journal from, from several years ago, just to see what I was dreaming about then, and what I'm dreaming about now. Okay, and you'll find that there's a, there's often, firstly there's a big difference, as you change as a person, the things you dream about change, but there's also, there are also things that stay the same. Uh, and these things can be very, I'm not going to share my personal ones with you because uh, it won't really make any sense to you, right? Uh, but there are things that you find you dream about, that you dreamed about 10 years ago even, or, or two, for the most part, two or three years ago, because most of you are looking at my stats, you, you, you're fairly young. You're like teenagers to young adults, right? So yeah, long story short, you should always look back at your past dreams. Um, and you should always sort of work uh, work out what things happen regularly and then try and identify why these things why these things happen right there's always some sort of reason like maybe it's an underlying fear you have right uh, an underlying belief about something or a belief about a person or or an idea there's always something which your subconscious mind sort of gravitates back to uh, and the re the way you're going to sort of work that out is by looking at your past dreams so yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say do it all the time. What I like to do also is, uh, like, when I write my dreams down first thing in the morning, I will look back at the last few days of dreams, and then sort of compare, like, in a smaller time frame, and see what was I dreaming about last night, what was I dream dreaming about the night before, and you're you, doing that, you can sort of get an idea of how where you are now. So in the last week or so. And then maybe every month you can do like a, a review of the last six months. So just have a quick skim through, see what you were dreaming about, see how it's changed, how you've evolved as a dreamer and as a person. Uh, and you'll, yeah, it's a really good thing to do. So just one more thing I'd like to say before I finish this video. Um, I'm thinking of starting a vlog channel. Now, I know you're thinking this is pretty much a vlog channel anyway, but um, I want to start moving towards... Um, this is how I want to, this is how I see it in my mind. So, okay, I have this channel as the main lucid dreaming channel where I answer your questions. I put up technique videos. I go through things like I'm going to be going through some more psychology based, uh, videos explaining more about how the mind works and the, the physical aspect of it, the science behind it. Um, maybe I'll get a whiteboard or something, or I'll get some sort of way of drawing things out for you at the same time. And then in my vlog channel, I'm going to be more focused on like, it'll be slightly more personal, you know, I'll be sort of sharing more about my experiences, more sort of uh, the dreams I'm having, uh, the things I'm experimenting with in my dreams, the things I'm doing at the moment, um, and sort of more, maybe more out and about videos, or maybe I'll bring guests on or something like that, you know. Um, so if that's something you'd like to see, I'm probably going to start it anyway and just see how it goes. Uh, but if you've got any suggestions uh, for how you think I should do that, please leave a comment. Uh, and what you'll probably see in the next few days is there'll be a link to my other channel in the sidebar. I'm not sure what it's going to be called yet, uh, but it's going to be there. So look out for that, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.